Hello everybody. So today is day three of somebody else working here with me. I don't work much. I'm only a part-timer. Uh, and uh, Anthony left to, left to borrow his uh, jackhammer to jackhammer up some of the rocks because it's just like solid rock here. And uh, I don't know if you can see, this was all full of rock. I got jackhammered out. And this was all full of rock here, which is there. And then the smaller stuff we put in, in cement sacks to like this size to put in the driveway to our farm and sack buying. And we have uh, 15 sacks of those. And there's other smaller stuff in there just needs to go in the sacks. But starting to get a pretty good pile of broken up stone. And we still didn't get very far. We need to go over to about right here. So that's still a long way to go. And to this area here. Go back another uh, 60 feet so it's going to take a few days or weeks or months until we get this area cleared out to be able to park in here and to get ready to build our addition to our house and this will be our basement area and i worked on it for a week of shoveling before we had help and like I say, today is day three of somebody helping, and day two with a jackhammer. And it's very, very slow progress. And I know somebody's going to comment in the, or make a comment. They'll say, "Why don't you just get a backhoe?" <laughs> and we were told that the the, the track hoe with like a jackhammer attachment doesn't really work that good here. It's actually cheaper to do it manually. They say. So that's why we're doing it manually. Because these stones here are just, it's so hard it doesn't want to break through. And it, as you can see by this one, it just chips off small pieces at a time. Just keep going around it and around it and around it. And that rock is big because it goes, it just goes back like rock. Everything here is rock. So, and there again, it's just rock. So, so much rock. And for now, we're taking the dirt and we're going on the other side of our house and filling in where it was uh, rock and hard to, uh, to trim the weeds. So now we'll be able to trim the weeds once uh, they grow up through this dirt. And uh, I'm gonna guess uh, probably 50 or 60 sacks so far of uh, dirt that we took back there to, to start filling in. Because I had, uh, almost 30 sacks before we got help so I'm gonna guess 50 or 60 sacks maybe maybe more to fill in back here so that's the progress on uh, day three with a helper and I'm not much of a helper so so this is the area where we're dumping in all the dirt because it's solid rock underneath here too that we're sticking up hey, as you can see that big rock big boulder there and it's been nothing but rain here for two days every night poured down rain so it's starting to wash everything down this way and we're not not nearly done still need a couple more sacks to go in here but at least we got a place to get rid of the dirt for a little while anyways so so muddy in there now i don't want to step in there yeah I see a broken piece of glass and i gotta get out so that's where we dump our, our dirt from the other side i gotta walk up a hill around the block yeah. Now, now we have chickens in our piggery. <laughs> Since we got rid of the pigs for now, so now we have chickens in there. Just got our uh, second egg today. 